How do you get the perfect green screen every time? From setup to edit, keep watching until the end. Use a green piece of fabric for your green screen. A large cloth or pop-up screen will do. When setting up your green screen, make sure you're not leaving any creases or folds in the fabric. The cleaner the setup, the easier it'll be when keying it out. Creases and folds will create different shades of color in your screen and make it difficult to key out. The chroma key works by keying out one specific shade of color. So save yourself the trouble later by laying out a clean green screen. Before you set up lighting, think about what you're using the green screen for. Depending on the type of video or effect you're going for, your lighting may change. Let's say you're replacing your green screen with an outdoor scene. The lighting for this will be different compared to if you were planning to use an indoor scene. An outdoor scene might have sunlight coming from above rather than through a window. Therefore, your lighting will be adjusted accordingly. Light your subject and your green screen separately, making sure there are no shadows. Forgetting to light your green screen separately could result in it looking patchy on camera. Shadows on your green screen will also produce different shades of green on camera. Both of these factors will affect how difficult it will be when keying out in post-production, so these are fairly important to keep in mind. Make sure you're not wearing green. Wearing any shade of green could cause part of your body to be keyed out along with the green screen. An extra tip here is to avoid wearing light colors made of fabrics that have a sheen, especially if white. We found out that clothes like these easily reflect the green of the screen and make it harder to key out just the background. The safest choice is to wear dark colors and stay away from green. Set up your tripod at a distance, keep it in mind perspective, and use a leveler if you have one. It's important to make sure the positioning and depth of field of your subject in your camera frame match the background you're planning to replace the green screen with. If not, your subject might look too big or too small for the background and won't achieve that seamless green screen look. After setting the tripod height to align depth of field to both the foreground and the background, we used a leveler on our phone camera to make sure our frame was straight. You can check your phone for a similar tool. One final tip here is to set your camera settings to film in 4K. An HD setting can still be used, however, 4K will give you the flexibility to zoom in when you're editing without the quality of your image going down. Use the PowerDirector app to key out your green screen with just a few taps. Upload your video into the app, then tap to highlight. Slide over and find the cutout button, then select the chroma key option. Move the color picker around the screen to select the green in the background. You'll instantly see the results. If you see any spillage, adjust the range and denoise settings to a higher value to get rid of it. And for those of you that don't want to bother with a green screen, go watch this video where we go over the AI background remover. We cover both mobile app and PC, so there's something for everyone there. If you're using PowerDirector on your computer, there's a bit more flexibility with what you can do. Once you've dragged your clip onto the timeline, press edit, then scroll down the Tools drop-down menu until you find the option for Chroma Key. Click on the dropper, then select the green on your background. If there is any spillage, increase the value of the color range, which will allow the Chroma Key to remove a wider range of the shade of green you selected. Another great tool to deal with spillage is the Add New Key button. Clicking on this will allow you to add another color for the Chroma Key to remove. If you happen to see different shades of green on your green screen that the color range can fix, you can try adding it as a new color in the Add New Key tool. And that's how you get the perfect green screen. If you found this video helpful, remember to subscribe so that you're not missing out on any future tips. See you next time.